Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 of Python super important questions and in this video we have 6 super important questions from the previous paper and the model question papers. The most repeated one, don't miss any of them and if you solve all of these questions you can easily score more than 80% marks in the exam. So without wasting more time let's get started and before starting please do like and subscribe it helps me make more videos like this. Now the first question is with suitable examples explain the list methods append, extend, sort, count and pop. Okay, so what is the list? List is nothing but it contains some uh, data. So if fruits is a list, it will contain strings, okay, like apple and banana. Now, append means it will add a single element to the end of a list, okay, it will add a single element to the end of a list. Now, if you write fruits.append cherry, what will happen is, with apple, banana, cherry will also come to the list. Next is extend. Extend is add multiple elements to the list, okay. For example, if I have apple, banana, I want to add cherry, orange, I'll do extend. Then, it will become apple, banana, cherry, orange, okay. Sort. It will sort it according to the ascending or descending order. Default is the ascending order if numbers is 417 and I write numbers dot sort it will become 147 and if I write numbers dot sort in bracket I write reverse is equal to true means descending order it will become 741. Next is a count. Count uh, returns how much times the particular word has appeared. For example if I write fruits dot count banana how many times banana has appeared that uh, count will be returned to me. Okay. <clears throat> Next is the pop. Pop ret uh, removes and returns the element at a specific index. Pop removes the element and returns it which index it was there. For example, if I write fruits fruits dot pop at that time banana will be uh, popped because it is the last. What is it the last that will be popped? And then if I write again fruits dot pop and I pass a number as zero, the zeroth location what is there that that will be popped. Okay, like that. Moving on to the second super important question, we have identify and explain dictionary methods like get items, keys, and values in uh, Python. Okay, with uh, example and also method, the uh, also mention the merits of dictionary over list. Okay, what is get method? Get method is to get a value. Okay, for example, exam items is uh, having pen as two, pencil as two, and scale as uh, one. This is a dictionary. Okay, this is a dictionary uh, exam items. Now, print. I am bringing. Uh, now, uh, what I am trying to do is exam items dot get pencil. Whatever the value of pencil is there, that I'm trying to get. Okay. If nothing is there in, uh, I mean, sorry, pencil, right? If nothing is there in pencil, in, uh, by default, zero should be returned. This is the syntax for that. So what will happen? The uh, number associated with pencil is two. So this whole thing will be replaced with two, and I'll be getting. I am bringing two pencils. Next is the keys, values, and items method. Items method will return whole values. For example, see. Uh, marks is this one okay dsa 76 se uh, 78 co 80 and python 91 for a in marks dot items so this is one item okay this is another item this is another item and this is another item okay so if i write a in marks dot items first item will be taken into consideration is dsa 76 print a i'm doing so first dsa 76 will be printed then next iteration se 78 will be printed next iteration co will be printed third uh, and the last iteration python will be printed okay so uh, item will print the whole item. Okay, this is one item separated by commas. Items will be separated by commas. Okay, now keys and values. What is keys? Keys is this one. Okay, S E D S A, which comes first is the keys, and values is the uh, thing which comes after the columns. Okay, after the column, what comes? That is the values. So in this case, values are 76, 78, 80, and 91. Keys are D S A, S E C O, and Python. Okay, so when we print uh, for B in marks dot keys. Every key will be iterated. So first DSA will be printed, then SE, then CO, then Python. Same if you do for the values, it will print 76, 878, 80, and 91. Now the merits of dictionaries over list, faster lookups. The lookup is faster because directly we can access the key by the, uh, directly you can access the value by using the key. Key value theory is possible here, making it easy to retrieve data by the key. And unique keys are uh, enforced here. The There cannot be duplicate keys. Efficient modifications is possible. It can allow direct updates. Like dict of key is equal to value, we can directly replace the value which is existing there. Okay. While list requires indexing. We need to know the index values to uh, change the value of the list. Okay. And also memory efficiency and better organization is another two merits. Next is how a tuple is different from a list. What, what is the difference between tuple and a list? What function is used to convert list to tuple? Okay, so explanation is six marks and four marks and uh, the example code is two marks. Total is, total it is uh, 10 mark question. 10 to 12 mark they can ask you. Okay, how is tuple different from a list? For example, firstly, list is a mutable structure. A tuple is immutable. Okay, list can be changed, tuple cannot be changed. And it takes more memory, it takes more efficient uh, than list. It is square brackets, it is parentheses. Okay, this is square brackets in a list. 
list and tuples is a uh, circle brackets okay dictionary does not support list tuples can be used as a keys and uh, list supports sort insert remove and reverse this in, uh, supports index and count okay the tuple now to convert a list into a tuple in python we can use the build in tuple function for example uh, list will create it here okay this list is 22, 42, 53, 64, and 85. Now, if you want to convert it into tuple, we'll be creating a variable called as tuples and we'll be passing my list inside a function called tuple. Then tuples will become that, uh, means the list will become tuple. Okay, so it's, this is the square bracket. And now if you print the tuple, it will be a, in a circle bracket. Okay, and this uh, in this, all the rules of tuple will be applied. Okay, that's how you can convert uh, tuple to a list. I mean list or tuple. Next is develop a Python program to swap two numbers without using the immediate var intermediate variable. You cannot use temp here. Okay, for that one simple formula is there. You'll be writing a function normally. A take the A input and B input, print A and B. And for swapping, you have to do A is equal to A plus B, B is equal to A minus B, A is equal to A minus B. This one you have to buy hard. Okay, there is no other go. You have to buy hard this. This is the uh, code which you need to write. Okay, and the main logic is here only. And you can write a sample output as well. Okay. Next is what is a list? Explain the concept of indexing and slicing in a list with example. Okay. <clears throat> what is a list? List in Python is a collection of different data types. Okay. It is a collection of different data types and it is mutable and it is ordered sequence of elements or items. It can be created by a square bracket or it can be created by the list function built in method. Okay. So, for example, a list is this one and uh, list two is this one and list two can be created just by passing uh, as a list. Okay. To create an empty list here. These are the two methods to create a list and uh, we can access the indexes by using the uh, positive numbers or the negative numbers also. So basically what does positive number do? For example, if I want to access uh, this value 45, this is 0, 1, first index I'll access. If I want to access 20, I can access uh, list of 2. But if I want to access from the end, I know that it is a third last element. But I don't know from starting what is the element. Then I can access using minus 3. What I will write is list of minus 3. Okay, list of minus 3 will return me the list of number minus 3 here from the end. Okay, both the things are possible in the Python. Okay, so list of 1 will display 45, list of 1 is 45, list of minus 1 is 60. So it will display 60 here. Okay, slicing is nothing but uh, div dividing. What do you mean by slicing? Slicing a cheese. Slicing a cheese means cutting into two parts. Okay, so if a list is there, and if I uh, slice it, it will become like this. Okay. If I write list one is equal to 30, 45, 20, 15, 60, and I write list of one and three. One and three means from the first index till the third index means one and two only will be considered. N minus one. Okay. 30 and 45. Uh, sorry, 45 and 20. Okay. One means it is starting from here. Okay. This is zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. If I write list one, two, three. 1 to 3 means 1 will be taken, 2 will be taken, taken and 3 will be excluded. So 45 and 20 will be the final answer. Okay, this is called as slicing. Okay. <clears throat> and you can do it in a negative way also. So this is actually minus 1 here. Okay. Minus 2 to minus 1 means where is minus 2? Minus 2 if we consider from here, this will be minus 2 and this will be uh, minus 1. Okay, this is minus 2, this is minus 1. So 15 and 60 will be taken into consideration. Okay. Next is read n numbers from the console and create a list. Okay, we have to uh, read n numbers, create a list, and develop a program to print mean variance in standard deviation with suitable messages. So, first let's uh, import math here. Okay, after that, we'll be defining the functions. We'll be defining function for mean and we'll be taking the numbers. Now, sum of the numbers divided by length of numbers is called as mean, right? The sum of all the numbers divided by how many numbers are there? That is called as mean. So, the, the mean will also be defined like this only. What is variance? Variance is nothing but x minus the mean square divided by the length right the numbers what is the uh, value of uh, mean that is equal to uh, the value of variance variance is equal to x minus mean whole square divided by the um, length of the numbers means n this is a whole summation okay summation of x minus m whole square divided by n this is a formula so that same formula it is represented in this form here that is variance and standard deviation is nothing but the square root of variance now the main function starts from here n is equal to int number of num elements we want how many numbers we want to do, do the operation for we'll take the numbers create a uh, list here and we'll uh, write enter n numbers and whatever the value of pass that much numbers will be printed here that uh, means if you pass 5 here enter 5 numbers will be printed for i uh, for uh, dash in range n means it is an infinite loop we'll be taking it till it reaches the uh, n and whatever is the value here first we'll take the uh, input for that particular number first number and we'll append it to the uh, numbers list okay numbers list will put whatever the number user has inserted okay after that that number we will be calculating the mean value variance value and standard value by passing the array of the numbers here and the mean value also will be passing here and the variance value will be passing here finally after that we'll be printing it here okay we'll be printing the numbers 
uh, the uh, final solution to which I got. Okay, that's all for this video. Please do like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next.